Yo, what's up guys? Check this out. Underground box for a baby. Nice, nice box. Tape ratios. Angles, cardboard specifications, thickness. Years, months, I mean. This is it. This is the box for it, guys. This is years ahead of my work. I need to call Logan. Logan, it's Jake. I need, I need you to come here right now. Yes, I'm back from the desert. I've been back for a day. I texted you. Just, just get here right now. Jake, what's going on? I got here as fast as I could. Logan, while I was in the desert, surviving the desert sandstorm versus box fort, I found this book in the sand. It's a box fort builder's guide. It is years ahead of our work. It has tape algorithms, box fort construction work. I mean, everything that we've ever wanted to do is in this book. Oh my god, Jake, you found this in the desert? Not just that, Logan, but look at this. This book is over 150 years old when I found this. Between both pages. A map to an underground box fort, Logan. And in this underground box fort, there is apparently the answers. We will have all the answers, Logan. Every bit of information about box fort building from the beginning of time. This isn't just about box fort building. This is about life as a whole. I'm going back to the desert. I'm gonna find this underground box for if it's the last thing I do. Putting in the coordinates in the transporter. Here we go. <laughs> Should be just around here. Oh my god. It's the lost box bunker. Yo guys, so we just made it here. We are literally basically in the desert. Look at this. There's, there's sand everywhere. It's hot. Logan, I'm boiling hot right now. I'm I'm beyond hot. But we did set up this canopy, so we have like a base camp kind of. We've got food, we've got water, and we've got our well. It's the start of the hole we're gonna be doing. Cause we're doing an underground bunker, guys. Today is the day, I know you guys have been asking for it. All of you guys have been saying in the comments, you guys want us to do an underground bunker. It could fail miserably. So I think what we're gonna do now, guys, is we've already set up the base camp. We're gonna fuel up, have some food. We brought some MREs and stuff like that. And then we just gotta start digging. So basically this is what we're working with here. We've got this massive, well, area here and we've covered the whole thing with the tarp in case it rains or just, you know, wind blowing and all that stuff. We're gonna be building obviously with our boxes cause it's a box fort, but we also have some plywood because if you don't use plywood for the walls all of this sand is just gonna cave in and that that's gonna be bad because we're underground and if there's a cave in underground you're gonna have a terrible day while we were setting up I had a conversation with Logan and I was like dude we could totally do a 24-hour challenge in the desert in a box fort but regardless if you guys want us to do a 24-hour challenge in the desert smack that like button if we get hundred and thirty two thousand likes Logan we're doing an underground desert box for challenge are you in Logan's in it looks small on here but the hole Dude, it's so hot to build a hole in the desert, man. Oh my God. It's getting there though, it's getting there. lunch break now but now that we let my spaghetti and meatballs sit for a little while it's all heated up oh that's nice and hot just like it came out of the oven oh no I made the potatoes no I didn't want potatoes I want spaghetti and meatballs <laughs> it smells like sadness I'm so hungry oh, what is that you're dripping sweat man <laughs> I got my lasagna and it's really not that bad We've been digging this hole now for quite some time. It's getting there, it's getting there. We gotta dig a little bit deeper and then we'll be able to put some of the boarding in and then we can start layering the whole place with box. Right, guys, we came to our first problem. We went to go put up one of the boarded walls and everything caved in on the other side of it and pushed it completely off. So I think we need to reset bring it back out keep digging and just be a lot more gentle when we put it in we kind of banged it in and threw some sand on it and it just started to kind of collapse on us
Logan's been digging it out. We are almost ready to start building with the actual cardboard and the wood. But yo, check that out. I don't know if it looks too big on this. We'll have to see on the big screen. But this thing is deep. It's probably going to be close to four feet, which is like perfect. Also, it's really deep. I mean, we're having trouble even getting out of it right now. We kind of have to jump in and out. It's really hard to maneuver. So, so the actual depth of the hole is done. We've got the depth done. We've got the walls all ready. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have one wall on this side, one wall on this side, and then we're going to attach the top with a roof so we can pile the sand up and completely cover this underground box for but in order to do that guys i gotta get out of here and honestly this thing is massive i'm six feet tall and i'm like almost up to here logan can you help me up three give her oh, two, God, one. Oh, <laughs> you three two, two one go oh. <laughs> Now I'm going to start to clear the sand around. After this is done, we're going to actually start building the box for it because we got to get the box for it built before we put the roof on top. Although I think at this point, we got to start putting some box in there or else we're just going to keep digging, dude. All right, you ready for the first level of ground box? Okay, yeah, don't dig anymore, Logan. You're starting to hit water, bro. First layer of box on the ground. As we go along, we're learning how to build an underground box for it. Guys, if we get 130,000 likes, surviving in this desert for 24 hours might be the hardest thing we've ever done. Got the box floor down. It's definitely um, sandy, but I, I guess that's expected in an underground box for it. So I'm making good progress on the underground box for it. We have two walls, so we're just gonna fill this part and this part with cardboard. We're gonna use cardboard as a top kind of roofing, and then we're gonna cover the surrounding areas in sand and then have a really cool hatch so we can get down in here. It's all sand, look, and everything's sand. Everything is sand in this box for it. Nothing is not Sam. We've been working for a very long time and the roof is finally done. Check that out. The whole thing is covered on the outside. I kind of have to be careful because I don't know where to step. I almost fell in before and almost dropped in there. But as you guys can see, it's very kind of like incognito. Like you wouldn't really know it's here. We could cover the whole roof, but we thought it looked really cool kind of having the cardboard sticking out. And then here, this is the entry flap. So you open this up and you can go straight down into the underground box foot. How sick is that? So we are officially in the underground box fort and it is looking awesome. Check this out guys. Uh, we have a bit of a hatch open there which is nice, get some fresh air in here, but this is all literally ground. I'm completely underground, it's solid ground here. It's actually kind of scary because I can keep hearing like sand trickling down and stuff. So it's, it's a little freaky and the floor is just completely covered. I mean, there's still a lot of box. I'm, I'm all sandy, everything's sandy. We went from the most luxurious box fort to this, trust me, there's a huge contrast. But we're in here, we've got some lighting. Get a light over here. Oh man, I am actually so thirsty. So luckily, I brought a canteen. Oh no, I'm starting to think that this might be completely empty. So, uh, okay. All right, so the canteen is out of water. In terms of like the actual space, it's not too bad, like, I mean, I'm, I'm six feet tall, and I can kind of, like, easily just chill in here, 
and height wise there's actually a lot of height we dug this thing very deep and i definitely feel secure i feel like i'm in a trench or something like that but yeah so i think we're gonna have some snacks first which is gonna be awesome we did bring snacks down here i've got uh some matches which really don't help me too much other than to see a little bit extra above here you can see the crown which i don't know i don't know about you guys but this makes me feel kind of eerie like just seeing the ground here like at any moment this could cave in but yeah so far pretty roomy pretty spacey but yo check out the uh check out the entrance we got here you open the flap Ah, oh, there you go. Uh-oh. Looks like a storm's picking up. Get inside! Get inside! Close the hatch! Those sandstorms pick up pretty quick. Look at me. We're in an underground box fort. Safe from rain, sand, pretty much everything. No, no one's gonna look underground. Someone's up there. Make sure the hatch is closed. Make sure the hatch is closed. Oh! Oh! It's Logan! Hey, Jake. What's up, buddy? You want to come into the underground box fort? Yeah, man. We'll get on down here, dude. There you go. Welcome to the underground box dude. fort. We are five feet underground, guys, chilling in a box fort with a layer of dirt above our heads. I mean, it's definitely not that spacious. It's that's quite, for sure. It's quite comfortable, though. It is. So I think what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to chill in here for a little bit, have some snacks, and enjoy the underground box fort. That free lemon poppy pound cake. Ooh, I got strawberry jam for my uh, crackers. And guys, don't forget, if you want us to do a 24-hour survival challenge in this desert, smack that like button. If we get 130,000 likes, we'll come back and we will attempt to survive in this desert for 24 hours in a box fort. All right, guys, we've been chilling for a bit. We finished having our snacks. It's time to emerge from the box fort. Honestly, if we covered this whole thing with sand, you wouldn't even know it's there. Ooh. We have officially completed the underground box for you guys wanted us to do it. We're like, yo, I don't know if it's possible, but we did it. We survived. We made it. We built it. It took us all day, but that is officially an underground box for it. Would I want to live in there? Probably not. Maybe if we built it in somewhere less sandy, you know, like not a desert, it would have been a little bit nicer. But, you know, all in all, it was awesome. You felt really safe. You had a lot of like security down there and we were like five feet underground. So it was so cool. It was like really quiet. But guys, like we said, if you guys want us to do this again, but survive in the desert for 24 hours, destroy that like button, share this video. And guys, we'll be back as always with another awesome video. But guys, if you're still watching, all good things must come to an end. Time to fill this.